Hello, this is Joe DuPont recording from the, my bunkers in um, Bradford County. I just got done from the garden. And I was uh, splitting up my hosta. I have tons of um, hosta of different variegated types and some other plants, low light plants, that I um, divided up. It's amazing. Um, some of these hostas are pretty expensive, but when you realize you can break them up into thirds or halves or thirds or quarters within a year, um, all of a sudden you have a, a money factory and um, you can't really replicate money that quick. So who knows, maybe the whole idea is that find become hosta queens or something. I've been taking out excess comfrey which I put down below because I had nothing else to put down there. Now that I have more hosta to put there, I, I'm moving my comfrey out and moving it into another field. So that's not going to waste. And the comfrey leaves, of course, are like a liquid fertilizer. And today, I picked um, stinging nettle, and I boiled it, and then I mixed my pasta in there, and I had butter and uh, olive oil and garlic and salt, and it's very good. So I'm having my stinging nettle. It, it's uh, growing very well at this point. And you should learn to identify. You have to wear gloves and use the scissors, but once you boil the, um, the nettle leaves, that's, uh, there's no sting left in them. They're very, 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 very nutritious. And that's what I'm having um, for dinner tonight. Yesterday I made some lentil soup and I put some carrots from the garden and some lovage from the garden and um, put a little bit of barley in there, and that was very good. So There's a, a great um, video that I put on, put on Facebook on early um, vegetables, and uh, I'm having tons of second year uh, vegetables on my greens, broccoli, kale, um, these all came up again. My carrots are still in the ground, and I, they're still good. My um, parsnips are in the ground, heavily mulched, and the um, soil is just getting unbelievable with all these leaves that I put in. Eventually I get it too old to put all these leaves in, but then um, maybe I can settle down and just put a little bit of leaves in. But while I can do it, I uh, look at it as a free source of uh, I mean, earthworms. I love it. I mean, the earthworm population in my garden is just un. Believable. And of course, when they eat the earthworms, they make the little worm poop, which is very beneficial to the plants. And um, so that's the deal. Oh, I know what I want to say. Um, I planted some hosta on a bunch of leaves and pine cones and stuff. I put some dirt over it and didn't realize that I had covered the dirt over all this stuff. And when I was splitting up my hosta, the damn husk, the roots went right through the pine cones. I mean, we're talking about some solid pine cones, and the roots infiltrated the, the pine cones. We were living off the damn pine cones and totally entangled with the pine cones. I, I pulled a lot of them off, but you talk about the um, tenacity of the roots of this hosta. They just love organic stuff. And, you know, one of the worst things in terms of breaking down are pine cones. They got all kinds of of uh, preservatives in the pine cone. So that was amazing that these roots would actually learn to adapt with the pine cone and start sucking the nutrients out of it and those hostas were doing very, very, very well. So um, that's what you need. You need a very um, organic, rich uh, environment and the environment doesn't have to be broken down. Eventually the roots will break down the, uh, the leaves mixed in with the dirt not a problem so anyhow have a have a great day I can't wait till the Sun comes out it warms up a bit but I'm trying to um, make up for the time I was in New Jersey and um, get my garden I want to make sure I have plenty of, uh, of um, kale the uh, curly uh, blue curly kale that's 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 the Cadillac of kale I have a lot of Russian kale that went to seed uh, and there's little seedlings all over the place. So this is this is very promising that when you have good weeds coming up, there are kale plants all over the place. And the second year, uh, you still have them early in the spring. So I've been eating lots of kale in, uh, in my meals. Uh, for breakfast, I'll put a layer of 
of the kale and then I'll put eggs on top of it and uh, that's it. Take care.